now it's flooding the rains came down in back I think we had a cloud burst a couple of minutes ago but Summer monsoon is bringing torrential rain to South Korea. Heavy showers are expected until Tuesday. As of 5.20 p.m. Sunday, the Korean Meteorological Administration had issued heavy rain alerts for the central and southern regions. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're going to the Since Sunday, heavy rains have lashed parts of the southwest, north, and east of China. Several motorists had to be rescued from raging waters as roads became impassable. In Zhejiang province, about 500 tourists had to be rescued after they were trapped. The rain has also damaged power lines, leaving some 40,000 homes without electricity. As many as 11 people have lost their lives as the heavy downpour lead to massive floods in Kathmandu on Monday. According to the data, a total of 1,000 houses were inundated across the plates. The flood has also displaced hundreds of villagers residing near rivers and other water sources in the low-lying plains of Nepal. Today's torrential downpours are made for tough and scary driving here in Redwood Falls. From flash flooding in the streets to flooded and washed out roads, almost six and a half inches fell, giving 16-year-old Jackson Lang quite the scare on his way to work. devastating milestone. The death toll from Japan's shock flooding has now hit nearly 200. It's the biggest death toll from an extreme weather event in Japan in more than three decades. But that's not all. Intense summer heat and water shortages are driving fears of disease outbreaks among survivors.
Baby, it's really scary. What the hell is that sound? Snow is falling across the Darkersburg Mountains, parts of the Eastern Cape, and in neighboring Lesotho. Temperatures plummeted overnight as another cold front sweeps across the country. The mercury is set to drop as low as 2 degrees in parts of Gauteng tonight. Tornado 500 meters from us. Very beautiful. Большой. Может быть, нас даже сейчас догонят. A day that will always be remembered and one that will rather be forgotten. It is difficult to believe that the devastation seen here was caused by a downpour that lasted only about two hours. Those counts got the highest they've been in 20 years. So we're going to have even thicker dust, I believe, tomorrow. I'll show you that coming up. But this is how time lapse looked this evening. It was a weird sunset.
wildfires rage as far north as the Arctic Circle. More than 40 fires burned across Sweden on Wednesday, prompting Swedish authorities to seek international assistance. Days ago, locals say this sandy stretch of beach on the north side of Jeanette's Pier was twice, even three times the width it is now. So what happened? The change is so dramatic, some people say they had to see it to believe it.
water has lower levels of oxygen. So if the Menhaden were driven into the warmer water, the lower oxygen levels could have killed the fish. But the state says it is still trying to determine that.